Welcome to part 47 of Final Fantasy VIII. In this episode, we're going to go to Idiot's house, which is right here, right in front of it. You'll have to actually sail around from Travia Garden all the way to this area to get to it. And it won't be hard to miss because it's a lighthouse with a house there. But you will have to actually get on to land and land on, or disembark on land in order for you to actually get to Edia's house. We won't necessarily go there, and I'll explain in just a minute. But first, boss battle. I almost forgot to mention something about Renoa's uh, limit break, and also Zell's as well. You see, Renoa has a little problem, and that is she won't get all of her limit breaks until near the end of the game, i.e. the next disc. And that is because uh, all of her limit breaks are on Pet Pet, I mean Pet Palace magazines. I do believe I missed one when I was in Timber, or at least on the train, about to attack the president of the Ling City. <clears throat> now, here's the thing that needs to be said. Also, I will I'll show off Pen Pandemona in just a minute. But, uh, Renoa's limit break is the key for you to get Zell's limit break. As in, you will have to find the rest of the volumes of Pet Pals and buy them later on in this 3, and you will have to hope to God that Angelo actually searches and finds Combat King 4 in order for Zell to have all of his um, limit breaks. And his last limit break is with the library chick, which is supposed to be in Chapter 3. Uh, honestly, I think I screwed up on the quest, and I'm pretty sure I may be screwed out of Combat King 5. I may have, because apparently I wanted to talk to the girl, but I didn't have Zell in the party, so I really screwed up that side quest. Also, one last thing, Pandemona. Pandemona is the win um, GF. And of course, as you saw earlier, Pandemona has a strength uh, Junction already set up. Not to mention, uh, off screen, I managed to get a uh, boost for Pen Penamona. Now, here's the thing. Uh, wait, what the hell is he doing? Uh oh. Yeah, this creature has a tendency to morph. But it's gonna die. It, it doesn't matter. But as I was about to say, uh, Pandema has a move called Tornado Zone. Which, ironically enough, was used by, uh... What's, what's her name? Fujin, during the battle with Raijin and Fujin, like, two parts ago. And... Before we actually continue, you have to walk up to Sorceress Edia's house, and of course you see the Galbadian Garden right there. You won't be able to go near the Galbadian Garden on foot, you'll have to walk up to it with the ship. Anyway, as I was saying, and as you will soon see, Pandema is actually a... well, actually I didn't use Pandema just yet, but... Pandemma can be a powerful GF, so long as your opponent is not strong or absorbent to win. I do believe it will junction win magic eventually, but more importantly, uh, Pandemma actually uh, favors more on speed. So yeah. I just wanted to get that out of the way. But something else needs to be hinted on. 
Ifrit is now at level 54, meaning Ifrit will now learn its ultimate ability, which is a uh, Strength Plus One level. That is a damn good ability, and for good reason, and good reason only. Uh, that ability will allow uh, Ifrit to... Well, when this ability is equipped, and after you get the AP points for it, oh, no, correction, when the AP points is got for it, and the ability is equipped, it will allow, uh, the player who has Ifrit to constantly gain strength every time, well, gain an additional point of strength every time they level, and that is a really good thing, especially since I didn't get the Lionheart just yet. Also, on the subject of the Lionheart, uh, or should I say, uh, Squall's Overdrives in general. Due to the type of blades that Squall has, he slowly but surely will either learn one of four finishes. Either, uh, uh, he'll either learn, um, uh, Blasting Zone, Lionheart, which of course comes with the Lionheart Blade. Um, let's see, Fatal Circle, and I do believe, what was the other one? I forgot what the other one is. But, uh, he'll learn those four. So, yeah. Right now, he's at the, he's at the, uh, point where he'll actually learn Fatal Circle more than any of the other moves because he only has the level 3 uh, blade. So yeah, what's going on here, however, after you move up the Balam Garden to the Galbanian Garden, well, we're about to be attacked! So, oops. Now then, here's what's about to happen in this particular scenario. It's, gonna, it's basically going to be a cutscene, but several random encounters. But here's the thing. To start this off, you will have to give three important commands. I'll show you what those commands are. It's those three, and it doesn't matter what three you pick. You'll have to, uh... Well, you'll still get yelled at regardless, but the commands are as follows. Prepare for an attack, prepare for a defense, and take care of the juniors. That's the only three you need. Everything else will get you screamed at. And the order you put those in will also get you screamed at. But it doesn't really matter what ha there's no effect of well, basically no effect is going to happen to your uh, seed rank once you're finished. Anyway, because of this, Squall will pretty much disperse all the teams in odds and evens to take care of the junior classmen to uh, prepare for defense and to prepare for an attack. So once everything settled and Urban calls you out, Go down and talk to Irvin and Quistus and uh, Selfie. Now then, you'll have to pick your party members. Uh, unfortunately, for the time being, Zell is asleep. Or so we think, actually. No, he's not really asleep. What he is, however, is actually doing something to further piss off Squall later on in this whole uh, scenario. But for right now, we cannot choose Renault and we cannot choose uh, Zell, so I'm going to pick Selfie and Quistus for this whole entire part. I would pick Irvin, which I will do later on, but... Oh wait, why did I pick Irvin? Okay, I guess we'll use Urban. Because we're not going to go into a random encounter anytime soon. But 
they're telling you not to equip any GFs just yet. We'll have to go to the Qual. Oh, the Sorry, we have to go to the uh, Quad, so it would be in your best interest if you do switch over GFs to uh, heal up your characters up until their max stat, because we're going to go to the Quad, and there's going to be random encounters on the way down there. Now then, Selfie will also remind you of your love interest, even though right now would not be the time to worry about the love interest, Renoa. Because at this point in time, she is in the way, as I have been saying all along. And if you think she's in the way now, haha, <laughs> wait. Just wait till the next part. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, just talk to these uh, soldiers here, at, or talk to the students as you pass by, and get them into their positions. Make sure you talk to everybody and make sure they get uh, into position, because if you don't get these guys into your position, you'll weaken defenses, and on top of that, You'll also miss out on a cottage, and this may hurt your seed rank. So you may have to get your classmates back in uh, line, you know what I'm saying. So there's nobody else here. We're going to go downstairs, and we are going to talk to... Uh, oh, yeah, there's the provision staff right there. But we're going to go downstairs, and we are going to go to the quad to continue plot. Yes, this is a beefer of an episode. But I promise you, there is a purpose for this. Because it's a long, long cutscene. <sighs> and again, you might want to be careful because there are random encounters. Even though there are seeds everywhere. So, it all depends on who you take. Uh, wait, where are you going? Oh, right. He's... I mean, I'm just in shock that the save point's been moved. Oh, and you can't go out the front door during battle. That's a big no-no. Alright, we'll just save the game. And... I'll make sure that nothing bad happens, like... My computer resets and have me to start all over again. Or, for instance, my cat pulls out my controller again. Uh, he thinks it's a ball of yarn, for God's sakes. So, we're just gonna go straight into the quad, since there's nothing else better to do. Yeah, and I'm getting more, I mean, I'm getting 5,000 kill, that's all well and good. I'm gonna go spin it on Ultima later on. So, Zell, who actually was awake, is pretty much sitting everybody up in the quad and giving them a pep talk. <clears throat> and what Zell is doing? Uh, like I said, Zell was also not only preparing for a prep talk, but also. He pulled Squall to the side to try to get Squall's favorite ring. Uh... You see... But seriously, you just handed Zell your ring. You have no idea what this guy is planning on doing. But on a serious note... Wait, wait, what? 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 He was planning on giving the ring to Renoa? Ugh. God damn it, Zell. 
All right. We'll have to go forward, and we're going to have to talk to Renoa. Well, actually, more along the lines of not just talk to Renoa, but we're going to have to go back to the quad, and we are going to have to continue this. I mean, you can talk to Sophie, and you can talk to uh, Zell if you want. Wait, wait. No, we're going the wrong way. Pass me. We're going the wrong way. You're supposed to go the other way. Ah. You're supposed to return back to uh, headquarters. Or should I say back to the garden. That's what I meant to say. Yes. Instead of you just get out the quad. Yes. Thank you. Get out the quad. And you'll be called back to the bridge. So that leaves us to have to uh, face immediate danger as Zell. So yeah. Take that line that Squall says. Zell, I'm counting on you. Good luck, everyone. Oh, boy. So, with that said, Nita is trying to divert the Galbadian. No, not, more like the Galbadian. Why do I keep saying Galbadian? No, the Galbadian uh, garden is trying to ram the Balong garden. And the Balong Garden is trying to divert its course. But that's not gonna happen. You wanna know why? Because one, Cypher's a pussy, and two, he's about to unleash motorcycle gangs on everybody. Oh boy. Looks like we're gonna be royally screwed at this point. Where is Sid during all this? That's what I want to know. But apparently we're going to have to worry about that later. Because Squall, ha I mean, because Cypher has literally riddled the entirety of the uh, Balam Garden. Sorry, I started there. He's littered the entirety of the Balam Garden with nothing but random encounters. Even though random encounters was present before this, now it's definitely official. Too bad you're not going to be fighting Galbadian guards on motorcycles. Nita's trying his hard to go right, but unfortunately he can't. Because Cypher's a pussy. So now we are pretty much in charge of Zell. Now we're going to have to equip our GFs. So, before we do that, we're going to switch the GFs from uh, Squall and um, Irvin and Quistus and give them to Zell, Renoa, and Selfie. And needless to say, do your best to uh, get all the experience with Renoa as humanly possible. Because I promise you, by the end of this chapter, she will be a moot point. That's all you need to know. Let's see, I may have to get some more tents. Okay, one tent for Zell, that's basically all I need. Alright, what about, uh, wizard stones? I guess a wizard stone. Well, that's for Kiraga. Oh. Uh, well, that's gone out of window. All right. Anything else I need to junction? Nothing? No? Uh, let's just go. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm holding up people's time, but I want to make sure I have everything. But first, Zell. We'll do something to try to spurn the me to stir the pot even more. Given Renoa Squall's ring. Uh. And by all means, Zell was telling the truth. He did tell Renoa. Oh, he did tell Squall to hand over the ring to him so he could give it to Renoa. And this will piss off Squall later on. 
But that doesn't piss off Squall. Well, uh, this certainly will. Oh no, no, no. Renoa is literally hanging on by dear to life. Oh no. We should save her, but uh, I don't think we will. We're gonna have to let her hang around for a little while, cause yeah, there's no convoluted way to actually save her at this point. Maybe I shouldn't have equipped the GF to her. Oops, my bad. So now, we'll have to go back to the uh, front gate and, oh shit. That means Renoa for the time being won't be able to use her GF. Oh well. Let's keep on going. Ah oh boy. Renoa can hang around there for all I care. She's probably gonna be there for the rest of the part anyway. So, what we're gonna do now is head over to the front of the building and probably meet up with Squall, but this is where the random encounters begin! Right about... Uh, now! Or at least that's what I thought it was. Oh, oh, I guess it was just, um... No, no, there it is! There it is! Oh, look who's back! We haven't seen enough of this guy from Fisherman's Horizon! And, yeah, we'll just have to draw whatever we need to draw from him. We're going to draw protects and we're going to draw shelves. But needless to say, he needs to be killed. Now we can show off Pandemona. Yes, we can show off Pandemona. Since, uh... Oh, you suck. No, I'm talking about the monster, not not Pandemona. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we could show off Pandemona because I haven't showed off Pandemona yet, and every time I try to, the other GFs off the monster. But needless to say, don't care overkill. And this is Tornado Zone. There's supposed to be there. Oh, there's also supposed to be some convoluted map to make this a very powerful move. I don't remember the formula, but one thing is perfectly clear: this is a really good uh, GF to use if you're not facing an opponent that's strong against wind. And honestly, we could have certainly used this against the brothers. Alright! We'll just hit him one more time with Shiva and I'll just use Quetzalcoatl for this thing. Uh, but you might want to be careful also because now that the enemies are at a level where Squall is and I don't have Tonberry to lower their level, uh... Well, I don't have him just yet, but I will get him eventually. One thing you gotta realize and beware is that once Squall is at a high level, um, every monster that you face will be around Squall's level, so all the low-level characters will be pretty much SOL, which is something I didn't want to happen. Anyway. Uh, Zell talks about, uh, Renoa's problem, basically. So, we're gonna have to go out and leave just yet. And see a bunch of cutscenes before we could actually do something about it. And, unfortunately, everyone's getting on Squall shit about Renoa. I promise you, Renoa can wait. So, what we're going to do... Is you selfie and Quistus 
and have Irvin go and shoot while Zell try to rescue Renoa. Selfie Aquistus will be going with uh, Squall to try to liberate the classroom and hopefully get any hostages out of harm's way. Of course, Balon's Garden in the Crashing with Galvadius. So also gonna mean that means I'm gonna have to change GFs too. Uh we're gonna change Zell's over no we're over over this. No, we're gonna change Zell's over to uh Squall, and we're gonna change Quistus over to Selfie. Come on, there we go. Nope, nope, there we go. Now, we don't have to worry about magic for right now. I'm gonna switch over. Uh, I think I may have gotten the wrong set of uh, GFs, but I'm gonna still switch them over. Yeah, I got the wrong set of GFs for Squall. Selfie so doesn't have ult doesn't need ultimate just yet. Ah. Uh. But nonetheless, let us go over and sit. A. Ah, well, fuck. Oh wait, we got a new character. Ah, the green guy. Um, the green ones. I do believe add protected shell to their stats, but at the same time, uh. They cast level 2 magic this time around. Or should I say level 3 magic? But it doesn't matter, they're gonna be wiped out by E3 anyway. All in all, if you want to get like level 3 magic from the green guys, by all means do so. I do believe one of them also I do believe the green guys also have double as well. But it doesn't matter, because they're all gonna go down like babies. Not to mention, now that we got a new type of Galbadian soldier, we now get more uh, AP. And with that, I am going to end this part. In the next episode, we will liberate the classroom and hopefully save Renoa. Hence that keyword, hopefully. She may be there for a while. Hang on, Renoa! <laughs>